But let's look at one, two, three issues going forward. Number one is that anybody who is sitting down today and blaming the president and blaming the National Assembly has no idea of what he wants. Restructuring was structuring. You don't need all the noise. Let us come. Yesterday, somebody did something that I was very, very proud of, and that's Pastor Tunde Bakare. I recommend that his three, uh, treaties to every Nigerian. He put up what should be our talking point. I, they are sending things I have my reservations on, but that is okay. There's no way we are all going to agree on everything, you know? But there's something that he missed out, which I think is very important. What can make us a nation? Because nationhood has to do with certain agreed um, parameters or fundamentals or cultures or traditions. I would want to suggest to Nigerians today that let the linguists, those that are skilled in languages, look at all the minority ethnic languages that we have. Look for the one that is the richest, extremely rich in terms of vocabulary, in terms of communication capacities, in terms of appeal and everything, and probably somewhere around the middle belt. Pick one unknown language. Make it our national language. Give it a time frame of 10 years, 15 years. We start to study. So that once you speak Hausa, Yoruba, or Igbo, it's not going to work. If you want to merge all of them to create a new language, it's not going to work. Drop all of them. Pick one almost unknown but very rich language from somewhere and start to develop it. Let it come into our curriculum. With time, that will become our second language where English is still a, lang a language. When you do that, you will now put a hold on sectional, because outside of English, the next thing that we have is tribal languages. Okay. So to, we'll take a moment and we'll come back to round up on this conversation. Please don't go away. Welcome back. Our closing moments with architect Ezekiel Nyeri to DG Nigeria First Project. Now, we're talking about the way forward. Yeah. Now, a lot of Nigerians are agitated. Yeah. Someone said, actually tweeted, said there was an underlying excitement across the country, a sign that Nigerians are excited. Yeah. For what reason? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Now, how or what are the next steps we should take yeah. going forward yeah. from the leadership yeah. to the led? Or let's begin from the led yeah. to the leadership. The led should expect that and understand that you can't, a, you can't stop a dog from barking. It's his nature. You can't stop a cat from meowing. It's, it's nature. The man that is in the National Assembly, how did he get there and what did he expect? You can't expect him to truncate his understanding midway. There are certain things that are not going to happen, I can tell you, with every sense of responsibility. So what do we do? Number one, you don't get paid and then you dictate to your boss. You can't. But you can employ and dictate to your staff, yes. These politicians that are in the National Assembly, virtually all of them, paid us to get into that place. After being paid by us, we want to turn around and be their masters. It's not going to happen. As 2019 comes, let us start with a leadership recruitment criteria. Let us understand who we want. Number two, let us support those people. Number three, let us have an agenda. And as many as pledge to our agenda, let us support them. When they get in there, it will be much easier and more reasonable to expect that they will do our bidding. Nigerians are excited because they were looking forward to our having our country. And yesterday came, and before yesterday were the signs. Those who were supposed to have migrated should have migrated before yesterday. By the end of the day before yesterday, there seemed to be, you know, a relative stable stability within the polity. 
So people woke up in the morning with this excitement. Oh, thank God there was no war. Thank God they didn't kill Ibos. Thank God the houses were safe in the east. Thank God, oh my goodness, thank God, thank God. The parents remembered with nostalgia the problems they had during the war. They talked to their children. The excitement of the parents kind of infiltrated to the children. And everybody was happy. It means that we want Nigeria. But for goodness sake, that excitement cannot remain because after the euphoria, we'll go back and discover, oh Lord, I'm still 5%. Oh, Lord, I'm still not this. Oh, Lord, I still don't have this. As a result, we're going to go back. But let us follow up the, the excitement with an agenda. The agenda we are giving Nigerians is let's come to evolve a leadership recruitment criteria. Let us evolve an agenda for 2019. Let us put in place people that understand what we want going forward. And at 2019, we will be able to start a process but before 2019, the president, as a good man, can do certain things for us. Things that you don't necessarily need legislation. For instance, the devolution of powers, one word, the other. There are certain things that government policy can start to play that. And the president will be seen as somebody who is starting to play the new agenda. If he does that, he'll be creating a goodwill before Nigerians going into 2019. But if he doesn't do that, there is a train that has begun that will not stop. And the citizens... I'm calling on every citizen of Nigeria, join the train. Let us give this country a new agenda, give this country a new focus, and then by 2019, we'll have in the national assemblies, national and local, you know, people who subscribe to this new agenda. Thank you very much. Good place to hang in there. Mr. Ezekiel Nyaitouk is the Director General, Nigeria Fest Project. Thank you for coming to summarize. Thanks. Channels is doing amazing work. Thank you. And that's our show today. I want to thank you for being a part of it and letting us be a part of your morning. All those that are sent in their comments, thank you. Happy Independence Day. I'm Neil Taibbi. Well, enjoy your holiday. We sincerely hope that you have fun today and be your brother's keeper. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maupe Ogun. Bye-bye.